There is one combination of weapons that I always think of as soon as somebody brings up old weapon combinations. And that is the Sandman and the Flying Guillotine. These legendary weapons were the pinnacle of scout combos a couple of years ago, ever since both weapons were put into the game, all the way up until Jungle Inferno. Which that update basically ensured that nobody would ever use this combination again. Except for me, to make this video, and there's, there's probably a couple of people still trying to make this combo work. Real quick before we get into the video, the deal is still on 15,000 new subscribers on the channel in a month, and I'll play Medic for the entire month afterwards. I don't know if 15k is even possible to get in a month, I don't think I've ever done it before, but it will be a difficult month playing Medic, I'll suffer a lot, and it will be funny, so hopefully it'll be worth it. So if you're not already subbed, please click the button. A whole bunch of you guys watching right now aren't actually subscribed. And if you're watching my videos anyway, you may as well click the button. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's start off with the Sandman. When you used to hit somebody with the Sandman ball, they would be put into like a fleeing state or they would be bonked as most people knew it as. It was basically exactly the same as if you get scared of the ghost in the Halloween maps. That is exactly what the Sandman would basically do to you. They'd basically just be running around. They wouldn't be able to have their guns out, but they can still try and dodge you, try and avoid you. And, you know, you can lose them quite easily if you hit them from the other side of the map. Or if you hit them from the max distance of the Sandman, that person would be completely stunned. During Jungle Inferno though, Valve changed the way the Sandman worked to make it so long range ball impacts slow down an enemy but doesn't remove their ability to fight back and try and defend themselves. And they no longer get put into a fleeing state from any kind of ball either, no matter what range you hit them from. Now I fully understand why Valve have done this. Stun mechanics in a game is something that nobody really likes at all. They can be super annoying, they can be frustrating and if a scout is really good at hitting you, every single time that scout can very quickly turn into your arch enemy for the rest of the game and then every time you see them afterwards it's a bit awkward if you you know you know that scout in real life then you know you hate them in real life too it's never happened to me but i don't doubt the fact that this has happened to somebody else in the past so honestly the stun mechanic being gone i'm not too bothered about i never hit anybody from max distance away anyway so you know what i never got affected by it I just missed the whole like fleeing state which made it slightly easier to land the following guillotine on the enemy. I don't think that state was too bad, you can still try and make an escape and if you're around your team, the scout would have problems even hitting you again or even getting close to you. But that brings me on to another reason that this combo doesn't work anymore and that is because the flying guillotine no longer deals crits against slowed or stunned enemies, which is how you basically got the kills every single time with this combination. So slowing somebody down with the Sandman would still work nowadays if the Flying Guillotine was just like it was before Jungle Inferno. Like that combination would still work. You just wouldn't bonk people and you have a chance to be killed while that person slowed down. Which honestly wouldn't be a bad way to bring the combo back. But you just can't get the kill off with the Guillotine anymore. Since it doesn't do anything special to somebody slow down, it just, yeah, it just, it's not the same. So honestly, the combo is not horrible to use if you want to slow somebody down and deal some bleed damage for whatever reason but i found when going back and trying to use it that i basically just slowed people down dealt damage and rarely got any kills with it like i had to really light that person up before even attempting to use the combo on them to get any kind of result that would be wanted from this combo and if you have to do most of the work and then pull the combo out and make it look cool then what's the point of using it I feel like a lot of the reason the Sandman was even in the game was to use that stun and to bonk the enemies for your team or even for you to use the flying guillotine to get the kill afterwards. It was quite a good team weapon, especially if you bonked somebody trying to attack your medic, then your whole team could turn around and easily kill that enemy, which I guess putting it like that sounds a little bit unfair, but even slowing somebody down, it would be the same thing. Like you'd hit somebody, slow them down and your whole team can turn on them and kill them easier. But since the Sandman has been nerfed, it really doesn't feel worth using it at all, to be honest. At least the guillotine has other uses now with the Rap Assassin, it works to stack all the bleed damage. You can pair it with the Babyface's Blaster and get boost from hitting a cleaver. So the guillotine, in all respects, is still a pretty good weapon and actually still works with a bunch of other weapons. But the Sandman had its purpose and it was really good at it. And then it just had all of its purpose basically ripped away from it. It doesn't do too much damage or really enough damage to use it over anything else. And slowing enemies down isn't the most useful ability and doesn't feel nearly as rewarding as hitting a bonk did. The whole weapon just feels a bit meh 
now. Like, it's a shell of its former self. And let's be honest, if you really want to slow somebody down, play heavy with the Natasha. One bullet at that thing basically stops an enemy sometimes, it feels like. So the Sandman is basically useless now, and that sucks. I loved that weapon. Another reason for me that it's quite annoying is that the Sandman Cleaver combo wasn't something anyone could just pick up and get 20 kills with. The people who were really good at it were really good at it because it took a lot of effort to practice it and they spent a lot of time practicing it. The combo was one of the main reasons before that I wanted to sit and play in servers practicing and getting better at this game. And now there's not really many combos left that to me require the same amount of skill. Now, I obviously might be wrong there, and if I am, please tell me. I'd love to be proven wrong here. But in my opinion, Valve has removed a lot of the combo play from TF2 that actually took a lot of skill. The Market Garden is still in the game. I love that. It takes a lot of skill, but the reward for it is actually good. And I felt like it was exactly the same with the Sandman and Guillotine. It was difficult to do. Maybe not as difficult as a Market Garden, but still sort of difficult. And the reward was then worth it. But the reward nowadays doesn't feel worth the actual skill required to do it. I would honestly love to hear your guys' opinions. Because I know for a fact that in the TF2 community, the Sandman Guillotine combo was either loved or hated, depending on who you ask. So I feel like this video might get, you know, some interesting perspectives from both sides in the comments. So yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know if you missed the Sandman Cleaver combo or you're glad it's gone. I want to know. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like. And while you're down there, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that button too. 15,000 subscribers gained on any given month and we will play Medic for the entire month afterwards. So get on it, tell your friends and get subscribing. I really appreciate any of you guys who have made it to this point in the video. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you all next time with another one. Goodbye.